What is up, guys? Welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another What If video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today. This one, we're going to be doing the What If scenario of what if Beth actually did not die in The Walking Dead Season uh, 5, Episode 8, Coda? What if she actually survived and the trade went well? And uh, what would happen if Beth basically stayed in the show all the way up until uh, The Walking Dead Season 10? How would the show change? How would the show uh, be if Beth was still alive? Okay guys, so this is going to be doing another What If video, another Walking Dead video for today. This one is going to be another What If scenario for The Walking Dead. This is the third one now that we're doing on the channel. Um, and, you know, like I've said in the other videos, these are really just random. These are no, There's no schedule to these videos. I just basically do them whenever, uh, you know, another one kind of pops up. So, if anybody has any other What If discussion topics they want me to do, so far we've done uh, What If uh, Negan killed uh, Daryl instead of Glenn, and What If Simon uh, basically led the Saviors and killed Negan uh, in Season 8, Episode uh, 15. How would things be different? So, um, this video is definitely very interesting. This one was suggested by Dylan George. He wanted me to go ahead and do this video. And, um, you know, I have to say it's a very, very interesting topic. I'll, I'm definitely going to give him that. But uh, if you've been following the channel for the last couple years, if you've been kind of watching the videos for the last little while, you will know that I do not like Beth. You know, <laughs> I, th I think that's the first thing I should probably uh, mention right off the bat, you know. Um, I don't want to act like I, I, I think she's horrible. I don't think she's a horrible character. I just don't really like what they've done with her character. I found her to be, um, every time Beth is on screen, it's either just annoying or the episodes that she leads are some of the worst episodes ever. Like, my personal least favorite episode of Walking Dead is Slaptown, and then the runner-up is Still. So, I mean, that, that really tells you something. I mean, doesn't it? Like, honestly, that really kind of gives you a bit of an answer of why. Um, but anyway, so, basically, what would happen if uh, she didn't get killed? and the trade went well in season five episode eight now i know a lot of people really would have liked that um and i know a lot of uh you know a lot of uh, fangirls of beth still want her to be alive at this time um i do not like her character i have already specified why i don't like her character in other videos so i'm not going to get into that but basically how would things be different so um okay the one thing i do think that that, that they would explore a lot more is that i think that her and daryl would kind of bond a lot more now i never thought it was a romantic idea the people that brought up the idea of Beth and Daryl being together are honestly the most ridiculous people ever because that is honestly a horrible idea. It's a disgusting idea just thinking about it. Um, Daryl and Beth being in an actual relationship. I honestly, I, I like, I feel sick just saying it, you know? Um, Honestly, I just, I don't know, I, I find that to be such a kind of disgusting topic because, uh, you know, if anything, Carol and Daryl, you know, because they're, they're around the same age, but Beth is supposed to be like a late teenager. Daryl is like in his 40s at the time. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I find that to be a, a crazy, crazy, um, you know, age difference and just something that I don't think would ever work. Daryl never is like, uh, has never been with, in a relationship with anybody throughout this entire show. Connie is going to be the only one I think that's going to be a close, you know, something close to that. Um, but definitely Beth, I don't think they would have ever went that direction, even if she survived. Now, um, you know, in terms of how would she be at Alexandria, I think this would be very interesting. Would Beth be able to fit in? Now, the one thing I think that Beth would like, now, okay, what what would they do with Beth's character in Alexandria? That's really the one question I have, is that um, would they have her be more like, uh, you know, kind of uh, just not like Daryl, where she doesn't know how to fit in? She's so used to being out there, and she she's not really used to it. Um or would she kind of be more uh, fitting in and maybe more than anybody else? So, uh, personally for me, I think Beth would have been um, another character that would have been on the uh, the scouting team or the, uh, the the mission team with Aiden and Nicholas. Of course, you guys remember they took Glenn, um, uh, uh, Glenn Noah, and Tara on runs and stuff. Uh, I think that Beth would be part of that crew, if I'm being honest. I think that's the one job they'd probably give her, you know? They'd be like, okay, well, this Beth girl, she knows how to handle herself against zombies. You know, she knows all this stuff. Let's put her to work. Let's br uh, bring her with Glenn and the others. And basically, I feel like Beth and Tara and Noah, I feel like would all kind of teach, you know, Aiden and Nicholas who's boss. So I feel like she'd be in that little group there, I feel like. But maybe maybe she could do something else. I don't know. But uh, that's what I'm thinking right now. Now, the other thing is as well is um, Hilltop. So, of course, what would she think of Maggie being the leader of Hilltop? And would Beth being alive change uh, Maggie being leader of Hilltop? Now, um, why do I feel like they would have a storyline going on where Maggie starts to lead Hilltop? 
pillow top after Glenn dies, and uh, Beth is trying to, you know, maybe maybe she goes to Hilltop and stuff like that, but maybe kind of the sister relationship between her, uh, between Beth and Maggie, really kind of grows apart maybe for a little while, and maybe they, they, they're really close for a little while, but maybe after Glenn, Maggie kind of, um, almost in a way, you know, Beth is at Alexandria, maybe she has her role at Alexandria, and, you know, uh, maybe she's helping Rick and the others at Alexandria find supplies for Negan or something, and she wants to go see Maggie at Hilltop, but Maggie, you know, she doesn't, you know, like, I feel like they may have it to be where, like, you know, it, maybe they, they drift apart for a little while, and then maybe once All Out War comes, Beth and Maggie kind of, uh, kind of, um, come together again, and, you know, Beth tries to kind of bring Maggie to a point where it's like, okay, you know, yes, you want to kill Negan, but you got to think about this in a smart way. You know, why do I feel like Beth would really be a lot more logical? Wow, I said that about Beth? I know. Um, but why do I feel like Beth would be a lot more like, uh, like Maggie, you can't just focus on killing Negan. You gotta, you gotta think this through. You gotta, you gotta get through it because if you just try to kill Negan on your own or whatever, it, it's not gonna work. You, you gotta have some kind of plan and then that would kind of make Maggie chill out a bit. Uh, so honestly, I do think that Beth would be able to kind of help Maggie and maybe make her more sane than she actually was in season eight because I don't like Maggie much in season eight. Uh, and I, I feel like maybe that's what, what they would have happen is that they would kind of, Beth would really be the, the kind of motivation for Maggie to try to kind of keep herself together. Um, and in terms of kind of Rick, uh, keeping Negan alive and uh, what would Beth do to try to stop Maggie? Um, Personally, for me, I do think, uh, I do actually see Beth seeing more on Rick's perspective than I do on, uh, Maggie's perspective. I don't know why. I feel like Beth may be like, Maggie, it's over, you know? Uh, you know, we, we don't, we don't need to, to do this. We don't need to cause more, more trouble. I feel like Beth would just want Maggie and Rick to get along. And I think she'd constantly be trying to kind of stop Maggie from trying to kill Negan. Now, would Beth influence Maggie to maybe keep Negan alive? No. I think that Maggie would still do what she did, still go there, and then she'd have to convince herself that Negan's already worse than dead. I don't think any like anything like that would have changed. Now, uh, here's the part I find very interesting, and you guys can let me know in the comment section below what you guys think, and I know I'm giving Beth maybe a, a crazy amount of compliments, and you're not used to me saying this, but I'm trying to look at it in the, the most positive way I can, I can, because I do see Beth being a little bit more important once the time skip happens, because uh, this is when Lauren Cohen would have left The Walking Dead, or would she have? You know, that's that's the big question. Uh, personally, for me, I think it wouldn't have made a difference if Emily Kenny was there. I still feel like Lauren Cohen would have left because honestly, she she wanted to have her Whiskey Cavalier show no matter what. I don't think it really mattered. And, uh, you know, what would they have done with Beth? Now, um, I know they put Tara in charge of Hilltop. Now, Give it a few years, I honestly feel like at the time, Beth is one of those characters that everybody in the community needs. They need somebody like Beth to really keep their spirits up. Um... So honestly, if I'm being honest right now, I have to say, I think that they would switch roles with Tara and Beth. I think that Beth would be the leader of Hilltop. Beth would be constantly telling Jesus, no, you need to lead. And then, you know, uh, Jesus be like, you're Maggie's sister. You can do this. You know, uh, I feel like Beth may actually tr uh, do at least an attempt of leading Hilltop uh, and then fully take over Hilltop once Jesus is killed by the Whispers. Um... Now, I don't think that Beth would be killed. Now, we can't, we can't go into that because let's say that she survives all the way up to season 10. So, um. Beth's head would not be on a pike. Uh, you would continue to see Beth continue to lead Hilltop, and uh, maybe uh, Beth maybe either wants to uh, take a step down from leading and let Ezekiel do it, or, um, Beth continues to lead Hilltop in season 10. Now, um, how would Beth handle the tree situation? Honestly, I feel like Beth, in terms of all that, I feel like Beth would be very stressed out when it comes to the Whispers. I feel like she'd be really cornered and just not knowing what to do. Uh, now, that's something I think that would not be very good to see. Now, the one thing about this as well is, would Beth and the way she leads, would it be able to protect Hilltop in season 10 from being destroyed? No, definitely not. I think even if Beth led Hilltop in season 10, Hilltop would still be destroyed. Things would still go down the same way. I, I, I think, honestly, I don't think that Beth really would be able to stop anything from happening to Hilltop. I think everything would pretty much be the same. Um, I think Beth may try to work with Daryl in season 10, episode 11, Morningstar, be like, okay, Daryl, are we heading to Oceanside? What are we doing with Hilltop? What are we doing? I feel like Beth may go to Daryl for some ideas. Um, you know, and I, I mean, that would be cool to see. I, I'm not going to lie, but, uh, you know, I, I still think that Hilltop would still be destroyed either way. Now, uh, what would Beth be doing in the recent time? I don't think that she would be doing too much. I think she'd be at the hospital with everybody else. Um, 
I think that she may have evolved to a, to be a pretty interesting character and a pretty, uh, you know, a pretty tough character. But that's, that's the thing is that, you know, I, I feel like all they focused on with Beth is her kind of, uh, you know, her, her annoying moments. And we never really got to see like, like the, the toughness in Beth until she died and she stabbed Dom, which was kind of a dumb decision to begin with anyway. But, um, I want to hear your uh, opinions in the comment section below. That's what I see happening with Beth. Maybe you see it differently. I see her leading Hilltop just like her sister would want her to do. Maggie, uh, and her doing a very good job of that, and Beth evolving over time and becoming a more skilled survivor and not so much of a kind of crybaby, honestly. It, just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. Uh, I see them doing something like that with Beth. Now, I want to hear your opinions in the comment section below. What do you think about Beth's character? Do you think that they would have her, uh, I think she, she would lead Hilltop. Um, I don't think things would be very different aside from her leading Hilltop and, you know, a few odd things here and there, but I do think that's the big thing that they would have happen is during the time skip, instead of Tara, they would give Beth that role and they would have her lead Hilltop while Maggie is gone with Georgie. Um... But that's just my opinion. So write your comments in the comment section below. I know this is a bit of an odd video because I kind of try to compliment Beth as best as I can. I don't like her. I still don't like her. I still don't like what they did with her character. But I feel like I would have liked her if they kept her longer. However, am I glad she's killed off? Do I feel like they could have kept her longer? Uh, no. I'm glad with her death. I think her death was honestly perfectly fine. And uh, But it is it is a cool situation to talk about. Uh, what would Beth be like? And I think she'd be a lot more hardened in this world if she survived longer, if I'm being honest. However... Aren't they all? I mean, after a while, really, honestly, every character just becomes more skilled as this as the season goes on. Unless you're somebody like Virgil or something, you're going to be a skilled survivor, and uh, you know that's that's pretty much it. That's really what it is. So anyway, I want to hear your comments in the comment section below. What do you think about Beth, and what if she survived? Of course, any other what if topics, write that down in the comment section below. Thank you very much to Dylan George for suggesting this video. Of course, and of course, I you know I want to say as well that Beth is you know my least favorite character, Walking Dead. So this is definitely a topic that um, took took some courage to do, but uh, you know I think. I complimented her honestly maybe a bit too much but at the same time I do see them doing more interesting stuff with her later on so you know that's that's that as well so anyway uh thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're new here click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my Walking Dead videos follow Dance Walking Dead reviews on Instagram guys and of course I will see you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video enjoy the rest of your day guys and peace out